As the great philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche once said, there is always some madness in love, but there is also always some reason in madness. Welcome to the realm of love, a domain where even the most rational minds find themselves ensnared in the sweet madness of affection. It is here that we find ourselves grappling with the paradoxical nature of love. As we peel back the layers of this complex emotion, we encounter the wisdom of Nietzsche, a philosopher renowned for his insightful, often controversial views on love. Nietzsche believed in the transformative power of love. Love to Nietzsche was a catalyst, a force potent enough to incite the metamorphosis of the self. It was not merely a passive emotion, but an active agent of change, capable of leading us on a journey of personal growth and self-understanding. In the throes of love, we are bare, our true selves laid open to the scrutiny of our own hearts. In his exploration of love, Nietzsche recognized the inherent madness that love often brings, a madness that makes us act out of character, that makes us irrational and often unreasonable. Yet, this madness, Nietzsche found reason. He saw that in love's madness, we are given a unique opportunity to see ourselves reflected in another. In the mirror of love, we find our true selves staring back at us. This transformative power of love, its ability to reveal our true selves, is where Nietzsche saw its true beauty. For it is in love that we are able to grow, to understand, and ultimately to become. Love, in all its madness and reason, acts as a crucible, refining us, shaping us, and leading us towards self-realization. And so we find ourselves back at the beginning, faced once again with the paradox of love. It is a madness, yes, but it is also a reason. It is a journey, a transformation, and a revelation. It is chaos, and it is order. It is everything, and it is nothing. It is, in essence, the ultimate paradox. In the eyes of Nietzsche, love, in its madness, holds a mirror to our true selves. Moving back in time, we encounter Socrates, the ancient Greek philosopher who had a unique perspective on love. Socrates saw love not as a simple emotion, but as a divine madness, a kind of intoxicating elixir that could lead one towards wisdom and enlightenment. This was a love that did not concern itself with physical attraction, but with the beauty of the soul, the intellect, and the virtue within. He believed in the concept of platonic love, named after his student, Plato. This was a love that transcended the physical realm and delved into the intellectual. It was a love rooted not in desire, but in admiration and respect for the beloved's wisdom and virtue. This higher form of love was not about possession, but about inspiration. It was about marveling at the beauty of another's soul and letting that beauty inspire you to become a better version of yourself. It was about encouraging each other to pursue wisdom and virtue, to seek out truth and understanding. For Socrates, love was a ladder of ascension, a pathway to the divine. It was a means of connecting with the beauty of the universe, of understanding the mysteries of existence. It was a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement, of attaining wisdom through the love of another's virtue. For Socrates, love was not just an emotion, but a journey towards the attainment of wisdom. Fast forward to the 20th century and we meet Simone de Beauvoir, a French philosopher who had a profound understanding of love. Beauvoir, a towering figure in the realms of existentialism and feminism, saw love as a potent catalyst for personal and social transformation. She believed that love, in its truest form, was not about possession but about communion. To Beauvoir, love was not a battle for supremacy, nor a game of power. Instead, she envisioned love as a partnership of equals. It was a dance, a harmonious interplay of two free spirits. Her perspective on love was deeply rooted in her feminist ideology. She championed the idea of love that was not founded on dominance or submission, but on mutual respect and understanding. She argued that love could not thrive in the shadows of inequality. Beauvoir's conception of love extended beyond the personal sphere. She saw love as a social force, capable of challenging the status quo and bringing about societal change. She believed that love, when grounded in equality, had the power to create a more just and compassionate world. In Beauvoir's philosophy, love was a beacon of hope, a force that could illuminate the darkest corners of our existence. It was an instrument of change, a tool for social transformation. Beauvoir believed that love, when rooted in equality, can change not just individuals, but the world. 
As we've journeyed through the minds of great thinkers, we've seen love in its many forms. But what is the essence of love? In the realm of Socratic philosophy, love was portrayed as the desire for the perpetual possession of the good, a pursuit of knowledge, a quest for beauty. It was an intense feeling that pushed us towards self-improvement, towards becoming better versions of ourselves. Through the eyes of Simone de Beauvoir, love was the intertwining of two freedoms, two independent spirits choosing to walk the path of life together. It was the act of revealing oneself to another, of sharing and experiencing the world through a lens that was not one's own. Yet, even as we traversed these philosophical landscapes, we noticed certain common threads weaving themselves into a pattern. Love, in its essence, was universal. It transcended geographical boundaries, social constructs, and even time itself. It was a fundamental part of the human experience, a shared language that allowed us to connect with one another on a profound level. Love was more than just an emotion. It was a force that shaped our lives in ways we could scarcely comprehend. It was the unseen hand that guided us, the silent whisper that encouraged us to strive, to seek, to endure. It was the spark that ignited our passion, the balm that soothed our sorrows, the beacon that lit our way in the darkness. In its presence, we discovered parts of ourselves we didn't know existed. We uncovered strengths we didn't know we had, weaknesses we didn't know we could overcome. Love taught us to be patient, to be kind, to be humble. It taught us to forgive, to understand, to cherish. In the words of the philosopher Lao Tzu, being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Love, in all its forms, is a transformative force, a journey of self-discovery and a catalyst for change.